Hello and welcome to Storytime with Miss Paloma. And boy, do I have a story for you today. Today, we're going to be reading a story about, yup, you guessed it, ice cream. You scream, I scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yay! Oh, that sounds so good. I would love some ice cream right now. So the story is called You Scream, I Scream for Ice Cream. Okay? So, you guys ready to figure out what this story is about? I think they take a really cool trip to the ice cream factory. But let's find out, okay? Okay, let's get started. Splat the cat ice cream for ice cream. Splat the cat beamed in back of the bus. His class was on a field trip of an, uh, to the ice cream factory. Yay! I could eat four ice cream cones a day, said Splat. I can eat 15, said Plank. And I could eat all yours and a million more, said Spike. <laughs> Kitten licked her lips. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, the friends cried. <laughs> At the ice cream factory, ice cream swirled in a big, in big vats. Pipe steamed, nozzle flame. Wow, said Splat. What a dream. The factory manager greeted them. I am Mr. Jellybean, he said. Who wants a tour? Hooray, sang the cats. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Mr. Jellybean led the class to the back room. The cats' faces fell. There was a chalkboard, chairs, desk, but no ice cream. Mr. Jellybean, Mr. Jellybean cleared his throat. First, let's chalk freezes. He said, some are big, some are small. All are extremely cold. Mr. Jellybean talked on and on. He seemed to love his freezer. But the cats did not. Their eyes glazed over. Their heads drooped. Splat began to daydream that he was making ice cream. He closed his eyes. He leaned against the big red button. Beep, beep. Oh no! Alarms blared. Lights gleamed. Splat jumped and screamed. Steam popped, puffed out of the pipe. Then Splat ice cream spilled out. It became a huge ice cream wave that grew and grew and flooded the factory. My goodness. Now that's a lot of ice cream, said Plank. Taste, taking a taste. Mmm. What happened? Mr. Wimpy Dimple asked. I don't know, said Splat from underneath the chocolate chips. The class cleaned themselves up Mrs. Wimper, Wimpy Dimpy counted heads. Everyone was there except Seymour. Splat screamed. I have to find Seymour, he said. He ran back towards the door. Wait, Kitten cried. We'll come with you. We're a team after all. Inside, the team checked out the ice creamy mess. Let's look, they said. Be careful, Splat said. Seymour is so small and we may not see him under all of this ice cream. With brushes and buckets, the cats cleaned and ate their way into the factory. Seymour, Splat called, but Seymour was nowhere to be seen. Then the team cleaned and ate their way through the next room. Seymour, Splat called again. The team continued until the factory gleamed, but it seemed Seymour wasn't anywhere under all that ice cream. Just then, a blob of whipped cream fell onto Splat's head. Splat looked up. 
Splat. There was Seymour. He was way up on a beam. He couldn't call out. His mouth was full of ice cream. Seymour leaped into Splat's paws. Then Jelly Bunny thanked the team. The factory is so clean. How can I repay you? Would you like some ice cream? <laughs> the cats all groaned. Oh, no more ice cream, they said. For now, whispered Seymour. <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot believe those cats ate all of that ice cream. That is crazy. I think I could eat that much ice cream if it was chocolate chip cookie dough. That's my favorite type of ice cream. I also like coffee ice cream. I could probably eat that too. Hmm. Well, what I want you to answer today is what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Do you like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry maybe? Hmm. Let me know on Seesaw, okay? Answer on Seesaw. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm so excited. Bye!